So yes, we are talking about the wonderful law of cause and effect. Now this law could definitely be wonderful or dreadful, <laughs> depending on how you look at it, depending on your perspective. You know, mentality is reality, but on whether on whatever side that you're on and this law, you can greatly benefit or it can be your detriment. It can be your rising or your downfall, you know. So we're going to talk briefly today about the law of causation, the law of cause and effect. In other words, the law of karma. So we got a wonderful message from the Curious Community. Shout out to Curious Community. They've been putting up these wonderful laws. The law of cause and effect. Now, nothing happens by chance outside or outside the universal laws. Every action, including thought, has a reaction or consequence. We reap what we sow. And I once heard from Jim Rohn, not only do we reap what we sow, but if we do not sow, we do not reap. So you think about, you know, that harvest that you're waiting on, that harvest is the, that's coming in, that harvest I know is coming, but have you been sowing? What will you reap if you have not sown? So this is the law of cause and effect, that nothing happens by chance or happenstance. Nothing, there's, there's no such thing, right? It actually says here in this wonderful book that, uh, that I've read before on Hermetic Philosophy, The Kabbalion, if you've ever read about the principle of cause and effect, it talks that nothing ever merely happens. This was so powerful, I had to highlight it when I read this. There is no such thing as chance, you know? And that while there are various planes of cause and effect, the higher dominating the lower planes, still nothing ever entirely escapes the law. And it talks about that causers instead of effects, when people become causers, instead of merely being on the side of the effect, the masses of people are carried along and the wills and desires of others stronger than themselves, heredity, suggestion, other outward causes moving them about like pawns on the chessboard of life. So don't merely be a pawn on the chessboard of life. You want to be at the cause and not just the effect, you know. Have you seen this law play out in your life? Have there been times where you felt like, ooh, that karma came back, like, hey, you know. Maybe be it a month later, two months later, or even a year later, whatever we put out there comes back, you know. Life is a game of boomerangs. You know, you throw it out, It comes right back to you. You know, doesn't that happen? You know, you, you throw love out. <laughs> love comes back to you. You throw hate and stress. You throw frustration out there. <laughs> uh, you know, it hits you, right? It comes right back. So there's always an effect to every cause. And there's always a cause to every effect. So let us understand this law so we don't get clobbered, so we don't get hit in the head, but that we can avoid, you know, the detriment of this law and use it for our benefit. Use it for gain. Use it for elevation, you know, escalation. So this is a wonderful law and that's why we're here to bring it to you today. Now, next we have this message right here. I enjoy this. The cause is hidden. The effect is visible to all. You probably have seen people, you know, maybe your favorite celebrity or maybe like, you know, somebody who you admire or idolize and you wonder, you know, not that you're comparing, right? Comparison can often be the thief of all joy, but you're just really admiring them and respecting them for their craft. Maybe they did something that you admire and you respect and you wonder, oh, wow, you know, it seemed like that success was overnight, but they understand that it was over many nights. Yeah, nothing is overnight, right? There's always causes to every effect. So there are no small actions in an infinite universe. Everything we do is like a ripple out into the cosmos. Every message that you put, everything that you read, everything that goes in comes out. Like they say, garbage in, garbage out, you know? Um, kind of goes hand in hand with the law of correspondence, as above, so below, as within, so without. So whatever we're putting in is also going to come out. That cause that goes in will have an effect later on down the line. And you may never know what that is, 
right? It's kind of like the butterfly that flaps its wings and they say that, you know, a tornado or a hurricane happens like miles and miles away just from a butterfly flapping its wings. You know, if you could believe that, that there's every cause has a tremendous effect or just an effect in general. There's no small acts. So has this happened in your life that where you've you found that you thought you did something and you thought you got away, right? You thought you got off scot-free. You did something and you thought, ooh, ah, I hope this, I hope this doesn't come back to bite me, right? Like, I hope, I hope that I'm okay, you know? Just like that Chinese proverb, if you don't want anyone to know it, don't do it, right? That's the best way, you know? It, um, the best way to win an argument is not to have it in the first place. You know, the best way to win a fight is not to be there, you know? So the best way to not have that effect is to not have that cause to begin with. That's the easiest way. So it's awesome how in my life, I've seen scenarios where, you know, maybe I got some speeding tickets one year. There was one year, I remember it was back like around 2012. In three months, I got pulled over like maybe six times by the cops on the road in three in a matter of three months. I got pulled over, pulled over, pulled over. And I remember that I had gotten like speeding tickets in different areas uh, in Texas when I was living there. And, you know, I just kind of avoided them. I remember hearing about somebody who just didn't pay their speeding tickets. And I was like, oh, okay, let me just not pay them, right? Like, what was I thinking? And years later, I had to pay all of that back, all of it. Like it had added, you know, compounded over time. And I didn't get off free. Like I had to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars back for all those things that I did, you know. So every small action is actually the big actions, you know. Every small cause has a tremendous effect that you may not know until later on. So just understand that everything counts in life. So use it to your benefit, you know. Every book counts, every bit of inspiration counts, every bit of motivation counts, every time you succeed, every time you triumph over a trial or a tribulation, every time you have victory over you know, a vice or something that's been plaguing you, every time you get over on your addictions, every time you battle back you know, and you win the war for your mind, it all has an effect, my friend. So understand everything in life is a choice and everything has an effect. In life, we all make choices, but in the end, our choices make us. So we got just a couple more here before we wrap up. We got, we live in a world of cause and effect. Do you believe that? Do you believe that, my friend? Yes. Albert Einstein, everything is relative. I love that. You know, Albert Einstein, you were talking about how, don't we, don't we think about insanity? What do they say insanity is? You know, doing the same thing and expecting a different result. It even says it here in the Kabbalion, you know, this hermetic philosophy on cause and effect that given the same cause, the same effects will follow. You know, how can we expect different results when we're giving out that same cause? How can we expect our effects to be different? You know, it's just very interesting how I thought that I could do the same thing over and over again and experience something different. But if you want to have a different life, you gotta do different things. Now we have this one, Swami Vivekananda. Nothing can be produced without a cause and the effect is but the cause reproduced. Have you seen that in your life as well? That when things happen in your life, you might have thought, oh wow, it's a miracle. Oh my gosh, you know? And you might not know the, the cause to that effect, but there was a cause, you know? Everything, there's a reason for everything. And nothing misses this law. This law misses nothing. So, oh my gosh, thank you for joining here. This is just, uh, you know, a short message on this law and what it can do for you in your life. And I trust that you will use this to your benefit. As this quote right here says, a life without cause is a life without effect. And I challenge you to ask yourself, what effect do you want to have on this world? What impact do you want to have on the lives of others? You know, we live on in the memories of those who remember us. We live on in the lips of those who have fond memories, you know, the people that we have impacted. That is your legacy. The lives of everyone that you touch, that is the effect that lives on after you leave this plane, after you go wherever you go from here, after you transition from one form to the next, 
you still have an effect on this life. And in life, they say you want to leave your mark, but you but try not to leave a scar, you know, leave a mark on this world, but not a scar, you know, leave the world better than you found it when you came in. You know, there's some people of the opinion that we asked to be here. Some people believe we didn't ask to be here, that we just dropped here by chance. But I do believe that there's a cause to every effect. Can you think of all the circumstances that had to be in alignment, that had to be just right for you to be born? Come on now. What did, what did Mel Robbins talk about? Uh, 400 trillion to one. The odds of you being born here on this plane, you know, that you are more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to be born in this realm. That there was a cause to your effect, to you having breath in your body, to you being given life, to you being able to experience this. Because I like that perspective. Not that we have to do this, but we get to do it. Not that we have to be here, but we get to be here. So what is the cause to your effect? You know, starting with why, what is the intention of your actions? Being more intentional in things that you do and understanding that everything counts in life. Everything you do and everything that is done to you, everything counts, you know. So it might not, you might say that this wasn't my fault, but you can still say this is my responsibility, you know. So all these things coming together, live a life of cause and Understand that it will have effects down the line, you know, live a purpose driven life. You are here for a purpose on purpose. Discover that purpose, claim that purpose so you can have that purpose driven life, my friend. So thank you so much for being and let's come in here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. I'm going to go through the comments here. Just blessings to all of you. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. What goes around comes around. You right there, Sophia. Sophia says, what goes around comes around. Life is a game of boomerangs. Lord Chomp says, if you do something, it will happen. You know it, Natalie. Yes, sir. Hey. <laughs> Natalie says, this makes me think of how the cause is often unconscious. Yeah, that's an interesting thing, too. When you talk about the mind, you talk about the subconscious mind that, you know, it always says yes. The conscious mind commands, the subconscious mind obeys. And a lot of the things that we're doing unconsciously over and over and over again are like the same things that we're doing, you know, these habits and patterns. That's another thing that I've, I've realized in my life, that the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. You know, you, you almost, the cause slips from you. You don't even see the cause, but when you see the effect, you like, whoa, how did this happen? How did I get here? Right? So don't be blindsided by the effect. Be at that cause level. Make things happen. Right? You know, to hell with circumstances. Create opportunities. Understanding that you do not have a poor mentality. You know, I, I hear a lot of people say, you know, I'm poor right now. I'm poor right now. You know, no, you're not poor. Even if you have nothing in the bank, you don't need to be poor. You know, poor means passing over opportunities repeatedly. Use the power of now. You know, no opportunity wasted. Use the power of cause and you will get the effects you desire. Maury says, ha, it's, it reminds me of self-sabotage. The guy on a bike, the meme, the self-sabotage meme. Yeah, there were so many times in my life that I felt like I was, you know, sabotaging myself, not understanding that I was being governed by my own programming. But it was always in my power to change that, you know? You don't have to be programmed. You can change the channel, you know? So change the channel in your life, change the cause, and you will change the effect. Do different things, different things start happening to you. Hey, what do he say? <laughs> is that George? Yes, it is George, Mr. Ramos. He said, Jerome in the house. Oh, ah, watch him out. You funny. Samantha said, exactly, just like today, I went to a coffee shop, the music was playing, it was one of my favorite German songs I used to listen to a lot every day. That's beautiful, Samantha. Awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's, I haven't, it's been a while since I've heard German music. I was born in Germany, but uh, that's interesting. Yeah, send, send me that song, uh, your favorite German song. I'd love to hear it, Samantha. 
Sophia says the thought is the first cause. Yeah, you know, thoughts become things, like they say. You know, I wouldn't be talking you to you on this, uh, this device right here, this cell phone, if it hadn't been for a thought that streamed through somebody and that they actualized, that they executed on. You know, I wouldn't be able to communicate with you right now through this device had there not been a cause to this effect. You know, and everything that you are getting from here right now, you are here for a reason. You know, there's definitely a reason why you're still in this room right here, even if you're watching this on the replay. And anything that you receive here can be a seed that you can also sow into, some, into someone else, you know, another individual. So, yeah, allow that to be a cause that is the effect in someone else's life, just as you allow it to be the cause that is a wonderful effect in your life. George says, everything is relative. Yeah, yeah, you know, relativity. Samantha, isn't that amazing? We create our reality 100%, 100%. And when you own that, when you believe that and you stop playing the blame game and you understand that you are a creator, you are a powerful manifester, you are royalty, you are sovereignty, you are everything and everything is you. When you take responsibility and accountability, that is the superpower because you, you may not always count on others, but you can always count on yourself. That is taking your power back. But when you put the power of cause in someone else's hands, you give them the power. You are powerless because how can you change someone else? You know, you can only have change on yourself. George says, Will Smith is also a deep thinker. You remind me of him. Aw, I've heard that a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, so, somebody said, yo, you just got Will Smith energy, bro. I don't know, man. You, you don't look like Will Smith, but you feel like Will Smith. <laughs> oh, man. Bad boys for life. Hey, Tanya, thanks for coming through. Natalie says, oh, you are so bright. Thank you. Oh, we are reflections, Natalie. I'm looking forward to our chat. Um, hey there, Infinite Balance. Can you save this live? Yeah, it'll be saved here. All right, Sophia said thank you. Thank you, Sophia, and thank you everyone for being here. Really appreciate you. This has just been a message on the law of causation causality in your life where can you link the two you know like steve Jobs said we never connect the dots looking forward but we always can connect the dots looking back in hindsight our vision is 2020 when we reflect and we see that there was a cause to every effect the causes might be invisible and the effects are visible to everyone everyone can see you know so understand that everything is adding up to something everything is adding up to somewhere you're going somewhere and at least understand where you're headed. Because, you know, if you don't know what direction you're going in, you will often end up where you're headed. So have that cause to your effect in life. Share this message with someone who needs to hear it, be it a friend or family member. Thank you so much for the likes and sharing this out. And drop a comment in the comment section. Actually, you know, right now, if you wanna hashtag live, if you were live here, and hashtag replay if you watch this on the replay. I would love to know if you check this out and came through. Definitely shoot me a DM. Would love to connect with you and hear more about your story. And check out the Open Palm podcast. That is in the link in the bio up there. And that is for your daily inspiration, my friend. Much love. Take care and enjoy this life. Enjoy this breath. Be at the cause and not the effect. Understand, we all make choices, but in the end, our choices make us. And the choice is up to you. Like Captain Planet said, the power is yours. <laughs> all right. All right, family. Take care. And we will catch you again very, very soon. All right. Breaker, breaker. Rolling out. <laughs>